everyone, I'm Sandrine here on How To Be Cool and welcome to my first review for a Benchy! Yay! For those of you who don't know, I love, 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 love Banshee. And since some people asked me to review the show, I just decided to do it. So here we are, episode four. Let's talk about it. Before I get into the actual episode, as I'm filming this, they just announced that Benchy has been renewed for season three. Yay, so we're getting a third season for sure. All right, so let's delve into this episode. First, let me share some quick thoughts. Siobhan and Hood. I'm conflicted. I am so conflicted about these two because I'm like, but Hood is meant to be with Carrie. But I kind of like him with Siobhan too. I was just like, oh, I can see it. I can see it. Like if he was to move on, I can see that how that works. Let's see how that evolves. I'm kind of liking this new dynamic. Proctor made peace with Alex. You gotta respect that. You gotta respect that he's like, it's all business. I really don't care if I like you or not. I'm just doing what's right for my business. It's gonna be interesting to see if this sticks or if, if we still get sort of bumping heads between these two. Speaking of Alex, he sent Nola away. I'm like, good for him, you know? But I'm kind of like, oh, but does that mean that we're not gonna see Nola for a while? Cause she's kind of badass. I hope she'll be back. I hope this is not the last of her we've seen. I think we're gonna see her again. I think so. Job. Ah, he just has the best lines every episode. First of all, I love that he's like, why are we even keeping this guy alive? Let's just, let's just get rid of him, you know? One more, it's not gonna change anything. Hood's uh, morality is just kinda like, mm, we've killed enough people, let's just try to work this out. I don't know how good it's gonna work out, but you know, at least he's trying, which I can respect. And of course that leads to some great scenes between Job and Jason, especially when he's like, well, just for that, I'm gonna name you Marion. Poor guy is now called Marion. Oh. But the interesting thing about Job in this episode is that Hood sends him to fence the diamonds, which means that he's sort of getting ready to leave or at least getting used to the idea that he is not gonna stay in Benchy. Now, of course, as the audience, we kind of know he's gonna have to stick around because otherwise there is no show. I mean, the show is called Benchy. So he's probably gonna stay in Benchy. The question is, how is that gonna work out? And then is Job gonna be able to fence the diamonds? Is that gonna come and bite them in the butt? I also wanna talk about Little Stone because he is a scary mother effer but really cool at the same time. It's just kind of like, you're so cool, but I would like run the other way if I ever met you. I don't know why they thought they could transport him. I was just like, this is a bad idea. This is a really bad idea. Like it took like, what, four of you to bring him down? This is just not gonna happen. This is not gonna end well, and it did not end well. And worst of all, he asked Siobhan to tell Hood that he would see him soon. So he's gonna be back, pretty much, is what that says. Now let's talk about the big event of the episode, which is the murder case and finding Solomon. As much as Little Stone is scary, I think the teacher might be even scarier, cause he's crazy. That scene in the kitchen when Hood is trying to bring him down, I mean, again, I was a little scared for Hood cause that like guy was kinda strong. And then go Rebecca for like, just jumping in and trying to bring him down. I was like, keep going. And speaking of Rebecca and the teacher, I just, as a side note, if you haven't seen the Benchy Originals clips, you should check it out because there is one that's relevant to this episode where you see the teacher kind of looking at her very creepily at one point when she hadn't been shunned yet. I'll put a link in the description box below for you to check out. But I think the craziest moment was when Proctor comes in and he's like, just leave this alone for a minute. I think these are like the scariest words ever. Like you don't ever want Proctor to say that about you. Like no, no. This is this means bad, 
bad, bad, bad for you. Now, thankfully, it wasn't, it was, you know, for the teacher, so I guess that's okay. But I was like, holy crap, that's very scary. Proctor, man, like, that knife in the, I don't even know, what is this? Is this a jaw, the, 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 the mouth, or like through the, I was like, okay, okay, we're doing that. And then I love how he comes out and he tells him where the kid is. And he's like, oh, it took me a few more of these to get the key. A few more teeth. You know, you're thinking like, really? You, you just like, you had to let him get more teeth out of you to give up the key? I mean, wasn't the knife enough? I don't know. Just, yeah. Crazy. Crazy. And awesome, but crazy. Which leads to the most heartbreaking scene of this episode when they find Solomon and just, just the look on his face is so heartbreaking. And then you get the flashback of the girl being killed and it's just like, this guy is like messed up for life. This is traumatizing stuff. I was like, oh my God. And then when he goes back to hug Rebecca, I mean, I just, I, I literally watched that scene three times. Every time I'm like, I'm like this time, this time I'm not gonna cry. Okay, I'm crying, great. And this all leads to Nola. That shot of her in the shadows, right before she throws the weapon. Brilliant, I just love it. You get the guy that's like half dead already. Like, what's happening? And it's just, oh, <sighs> she's such a badass. So that's the case wrapped up. Teacher's dead, case closed. But it was not the end of the episode because, uh, oh my God, Rabbit is back. Yeah, he's like unkillable. I, I'm not even sure if we're gonna be able to kill him this season. Rabbit, why won't you die? Why won't you die? And his whole thing of, um, this is the last time you see me and I just kind of going away thing, I'm not buying it. I don't think he's gonna be able to let go. So now Hood and Carrie have to deal with Rabbit again. Fun. And that's about it for Bloodlines. I've shared my thoughts and now I want to hear from you guys. How did you like this episode? Did you like the whole closure of the case? Are you hoping Nola will be back like I am? Are you conflicted about Shabon and Hood? Or are you like, I'm team Shabon or I'm team Carrie? Like, what? just let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Always makes me smile. But more importantly, don't forget to subscribe to Happy Cool so you don't miss any of my Benchy reviews and all the other videos we put up on here. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye.